So, you have woken up. You are experiencing reality in a new way for the first time and you're kind of just like, whoa, where am I? What's going on? What is life? Well, go ahead and watch this video for some warnings and some things that you might want to know about waking up. Let's do it. Hello friends! Welcome to Thank You Universe. It is another beautiful day and today we're going to talk about the awakening. Now, the planet right now is going through an awakening. Everyone is becoming more and more aware. This is due to uh, spiritual shifts, shifts in the cosmos, the internet. It's a culmination of things. Some people say it's been happening since 2012. That was when a big energy change came along and that's when things started shifting and I don't know, I'd buy it. So today we're going to talk about being awake and some of the things that you might want to know about waking up. So I'm on this online forum and someone asked the question, so is it you're awake now? You're awoke? You're woke? What is it? It's actually awoken it so just want to clear that up for everybody <laughs> but one of the first things that you will realize that you have to deal with when you are waking up is you're going to be dealing with some difficult emotions some really uncomfortable difficult emotions a lot of people think that waking up is just like you're meditating in a mountain or a tranquil field and you're just like oh I am at peace with the world and when you first wake up it's not exactly like that it's more like you are screaming on a roller coaster that is going into the blackness of infinity and nothing makes sense and you're looking around and wondering what's going on <laughs> but don't worry it's gonna be okay when I first woke up there was a lot of difficult feelings and emotions I had to go through. For one, my whole worldview was shattered. Uh, one of my biggest factors that happened when I woke up is I left the religion that I had been raised with for most of my life. And it's just like, okay, well, turns out everything that I ever knew and believed and understood is a lie. Well, that's, um, you know, it's kind of depressing. Um, you'll have a lot of emotions come up, things that you haven't really dealt with, things that you haven't seen in your life thus far. Um, so you'll be doing a lot of shadow work, you'll be dealing with a lot of pain. I have a video on how to deal with that sort of thing, I'll go ahead and link it. But you have to understand that it's not just going to be instant love and kumbaya and namaste. It's going to be a challenge, but you're awake now and you can handle it. You're seeing the world through clear eyes now, and that's awesome. So, I've been eating my hair like this entire video. That's okay. And this tree is so nice. It's just coming to give me a hug every once in a while. Another thing that can happen when you are waking up is that you will start to feel pretty lonely and isolated. It's as if the illusion is gone and you found out, hey, Santa Claus, that was, yeah, that was actually your parents leaving those presents for you. And it's like everyone is still believing in all of these ideas, the mainstream narrative, and you can see past it and you feel alone because you feel like you're the only one who can see what's actually going on. But that's not true. You're not the only one who's awake. That's why you're on this YouTube community now, right? You're looking for other people who kind of understand what you're going through. But you can lose a lot of friends going through this process. The people that you used to hang out with, even people you've known for years, even family members. <laughs> and it can be really painful because these people want you to be the same you that you've always been. They want to go out and buy <laughs> way too expensive clothes at the mall and watch movies and listen to the mainstream news media and drink alcohol and forget about being conscious and if you ask them to do a meditation circle with you, they're just like, what? Who is this person? That's boring. 
for my birthday one year, I wanted to do a group meditation and nobody wanted to go. So I forget what we did, but I did a meditation for myself and I just did, I think we went to go out and eat at some vegan restaurant or something. So it was so cool, but you can still be friends with these people and it's not like you're better than them. <laughs> um, they're just living their lives too and you, they have a different perspective than you and their perspective is still valid. So that leads me to my next point, which is that you need to not be prideful. You need to check yourself because I see a lot of people who claim to be awoken. I am awake now. I am woke as fuck. And they get this attitude like they're better than people and they can't be around anyone and they're just gonna go into the hills and leave society because nobody understands them. And it's true, it is hard to connect to people when you've woken up and they aren't awake yet, but you're not better than them, that's for sure. If this is the path that you've chosen and that's what's right for you, awesome. But their choices are valid too because everything in this life is an experience. And if their experience is living the life of not waking up and just kind of going along with it with entertainment and instant gratification and all the things that culture pushes onto us, that's okay. And it's actually not a bad thing, it's an experience. So thinking of it as bad is incorrect, it is just an experience. There's no good or bad, these things are all just experiences. And so you have to check your pride and make sure you don't get your head inflated and think that you're some crazy guru and you just have all the answers because odds are you don't have all the answers and you've got a lot of learning to do. That's what we're all here for, to learn and understand things in this reality. So don't, just don't do it. It's not cool. Don't be that person that's just like, I'm too awake for everyone. I'm just way too awesome and no one understands me. Because everyone's awesome, not just you and not just awake people. And also, it's not that you are awake or not awake. Everyone is on a different point in their awakening process because this life, we are all becoming more conscious over time. And especially with the global shift going on, everyone is becoming more and more conscious every day. So it's not like you're awake and they're not because to some people, you might be the one who's not awake. There are some people who are just like spiritually on a next level, like these gurus and these amazing people, and they'll look at you the same way. <laughs> well, they won't because they've gotten to a greater understanding and they won't judge you, but they could, if they had that judgmental attitude, look at you the same way that other people, you look at other people as if they're asleep and they're zombies and they don't know what's going on. So, yeah, just don't be so prideful about it. You're on your journey, live and let live. You do you, you can share information with other people if they want it, but remember you're not better than them. Another thing that happens when you become awake and you need to look out for is becoming cynical. So we do live in a society, in Western society, with a lot of illusions, this instant gratification culture, people posting their highlight reel on Facebook of their lives when everyone knows that everyone's just posting what they want people to think and people aren't being authentic and real and it's all about popularity and this and that and keeping up with the Kardashians and celebrities and so people don't care about the important things in life like I'm not going to bring up any issues because I don't want this to become an emotionally charged video but these things that you're like this is so important, how could you not be paying attention to this? And they're just like, I just want to watch the news. And so you can become a little cynical because it can seem like nobody cares about anything. But you have to understand that people do care, they might just not be aware. And when they get there, they will care. So yeah, my hair is delicious. So people are on their path and eventually a lot of people will come to an understanding of these issues and they will understand that this tree 
is more important than anything in the world, so it's gonna take over the video now. But people will eventually come along and understand because we are all waking up as a global collective conscious community and the world is changing and things are getting better and because we see so much media in such high volume on the internet or on the news because we're all connected now we see a lot of negative stories because that's what's shown to us but things are getting better really like do you really want to live back in the dark ages and die of dysentery or get like your guts ripped out by some soldier probably not you know there are a lot of perks to living in the modern time so be mindful of this and don't allow yourself to become cynical because we want to have an abundant joyful mindset because we know that what we think about and what we feel is what we attract the law of attraction and we want to manifest good experiences so stay in a positive mindset and be your own source of happiness and that's really an important part of waking up is realizing that you are your own source of abundance and joy and you don't need to be dependent on saving the world or outside for forces <laughs> outside versus outside forces um, being you know improving the world and saving the planet you can be just as joyful inside yourself regardless of what is going on around you because we're attached to the idea of the way that we think things should be when really we need to accept things as they are but this brings me to my last point they say accept the things that you cannot change but if you cannot accept the world as it is right now maybe you're here to change it so when I first woke up and I had this realization that I had been living a lie, one of the things that I said to myself is, you know, I can't accept this world and I'm going to do what I can to change it so that someone like me will not have to have had the experiences that I have had. And that was kind of like a sad and bitter mindset at the time, but if you do want to change the world, we are all here for a reason, and we can all change the world in our own way. Whether that's like taking down the establishment and creating a whole new political system, or whether that's like creating a animal shelter in your local community, or growing a garden, or creating your own sustainable home, or just giving a homeless person some money for some food. like you can make a change. I say whatever is there in your life, whatever you are actively around with and engaged in, that's what you're called to change. So don't think you have to save the whole planet. I mean, if you can, if you have the means to do so, go right ahead. You've got this. I believe in you. But we really can affect change in this world in all, <clears throat> in the whole world through doing our little bit, doing our part. To change things so as you are waking up understand that you're waking up for a reason and maybe not everyone is awake right now or even most people aren't and you're one of the first people um, not one of the first but right now you're in the minority of people who are awake and so you're here to guide people to a better way and that can be what you do in your little part on this journey of awakening so you don't have to get down. I know awakening can be a lot. <laughs> it can be a crazy, insane, exciting journey. But we have to have that inner resilience and be grounded in ourselves and our own energy and know that everyone's waking up and everyone is at their own level and things are gonna be okay and things are gonna keep getting better. So that's what I wanted to say about awakening. I hope you all enjoyed the video and enjoyed this tree. I know I did. So if you like this video, go ahead and give us a like. Please subscribe if you want to see more. Share this video if you know anyone who might find value from it. And I'll be seeing you on the next video. Thank you. I love this tree.